if you build it, they will come. Build what? A baseball field. Yeah, but who's they? The Mariner fans. Oh, and call it Safeco Field. Safeco? And put a retractable roof on it. Okay, well, that sounds good, but who's going to pay for it? If you build it, they will pay for it. What if there's a cost overrun? Would you stop with the questions already? And another thing, you should never have made Waterworld. I know, I know. <laughs> much it was a beautiful day there's lots of exciting stuff going on around town but the most exciting event of the year happened at king tv this week we got the new phone books did you get the new phone books have you got those as usual the staff of almost live looked through the yellow pages and we found that people placing ads have made some rather unusual choices now one of the first categories is adoption under a we look at this ad here it says i'm not giving up my child i'm deciding his future that's the slogan there meanwhile the kid is going what you're doing what? Wait. You're doing what? Hold on here. Who's giving me to who here? Then there's this ad from Mark S. Lee who says he'll do everything legally possible to get you off. Now that, that's a liar I want. Everything. Right. On the other hand, these people don't seem to need him. We come fast, so they... Apparently, they don't, they don't need everything legally possible. Now, take a look at this ad here from this hat store. Look at this. It says, don't know your head size? Don't panic. <laughs> I think we all know what that's like. You wake up in the middle of the night in the cold sweat screaming, what's my head size? <laughs> all right. Now, here's an interesting one. Here's La Vaca restaurant, tasty, low-fat Mexican food. And look at this. Except for our meats, all our food is 100% vegetarian. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll just have to take them at their word on that one, I think. Here's a real Seattle one here. Einer Johansson insulation in glass. Yes, you should get a second opinion. Boy, Einer's got that Scandinavian, that sort of Swedish depressive. Yeah, you know. We like you, Einer. Oh, no. Call someone else. You need to. Come on, Einer. Take a look at this here. Uh, we've got the Gregory hair removal system, which makes this bold claim here. Qualified to treat all 24 problem areas. <laughs> there are 24 problem areas for hair? Well, I know one would be Linwood, but I... <laughs> All right, now look at this guy here. It's the bathtub doctor. Yeah, you got something for a cold? I've kind of, sure, just get in the tub. I'll be <laughs> joining you after I light the incense. What? I'm the bathtub doctor. It's right there in black and white. Another strange one here. Look at the mole trapping special. That's a mighty big mole. The mole. <laughs> I think we, we can pretty much call off the macaw whale hunts and just like, forget it, you know, get them out there to harpoon some mole. And now, how about this cosmetic surgery ad? Now, that cannot be the same man. I cannot. That is a miracle. However, now, if you're talking about good-looking guys, look at the guys at Bruce's Roofing. You see 
They know they're so good looking that all the guys in the front row, cross your hands, guys, don't let the chicks see the, you know, they, they know they're staring there. You know, they're the best looking roofers in town, especially in the back row, Leonard. There he is. Yeah. Best looking roofer in town. Now look what they do at Just Parrots Incorporated. Oh my gosh, look what they're doing with the birds. They're hand feeding them babies. Hand fed babies. They're doing what? Well, we have a great show for you tonight, but before we go any further, please watch this. He's the man who whittles, he's a whittling man, he's the whittler. But if you're in trouble, he'll do what he can, he's the whittler. He uses folk wisdom to figure it out, unless he's cut himself and he's passing out. He's the whittler. No, not yet. Matt, are you okay? Over here, Gus. I got him. <sighs> Whoa. I had to shoot him. He was trying to get away. Good work. Thanks. Uh-oh. What is it? This isn't a convict. You shot a referee. A referee? Are you sure? Pretty sure. He has the whistle. Oh, man. I shot a referee. How was I supposed to know? Well, I'll tell you how. The, the Whittler. Whittler. You see those stripes? Yeah. Well, on a convict, they run across. On a referee, they run up and down. You mean vertical? Well, I don't know your fancy police terms, but uh, I can say up and down. Uh, that explains why convicts look so fat compared to referees. Well, that and you don't see many convicts with Hager slacks. Yeah. Whittler, I wish I had one-tenth of your folk smarts. Well, I don't feel bad. I, I once knew an officer in your same situation. He shot a zebra. Um, that was me, too. Uh, what can I say? You're just a moron. Good point. Well, we gotta get going. By the way, uh, what's that you're whittling? What, this? It's a penis. All right. Good. Good. He uses folk wisdom to figure it out Unless he's cut himself and he's passing out He's the Whittler Well, that's just about the end of the first act of... Wait a minute, wait a minute Gary Locke is here. Now, yeah. you're not supposed to be here. Is this a store? Yeah. No, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be at home. You got that new baby. I thought this was a store. Mona sent me out to get some diapers. Oh, well, <laughs> let's see. Well, I can't. Diapers. Don't worry. We always keep some huggies around. Just a second, Gov. Ooh. Here you go. Gosh, so oh. how old is Dylan? Uh, two months old. Oh, well, that's great. Well, listen, these hold up to 30 pounds, so you're set. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Dylan's, got, Dylan's not 30 No, pounds. no, they hold up to 30 pounds, so just put one on and oh, he'll okay. load it up. All right. All right, so we'll be right back after this. Stay with us. We've got a great show. Right well, we are back. And no mistaking, there's a special feeling in the audience tonight, and that can mean only one thing. It's time for another visit from a great entertainer, a great humanitarian, and my personal friend for over 39 years, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Nye, the science <laughs> Before we go.
go any further, I want to announce that something very special happened to Bill last night in New York City, which I believe we have a tape of. And the Emmy goes to... There it is. Disney, Disney presents Bill Nye the Science Guy! Accepting for Bill Nye the Science Guy is producer Bill Nye. For the best television show for children in the country. A richly deserved honor, and uh, we've got, this is a national Emmy, that's not like those local Emmys, so let's like, let's treat this one real carefully. Let's put it under here, because I know you're gonna blow something up, aren't you? And I don't want, I don't want the Emmy and thing you know, to get blown up. And if it's up. in the almost live furniture, it's safe. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For years. It can what sit there for that's years. Right. Oh, yeah. What are you going to blow up? Oh, John, Look, John, John. Ross so, is down it's there. It's so cool Hills to be here. Yeah. And thank you for that little tip of the head, a little acknowledgement of the Emmys, you know, because they started here. Yes. And, you know, we've always blown things up here, John. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's blow. Things, let's when blow. You, when you blow things up, you want to control it. You, you, want don't want, you don't want it to control you. I think you know what I'm saying. Right. Yes. It's yes. true of so many things. Yes. So, okay. So uh, what we have here is a two-part fuel system. That's okay. what I want you to grasp. See, right. rockets nowadays at our primitive level as humans, they're chemical systems, John. Yes. So we have here a couple of household chemicals. This is bicarbonate What are they going to be when we evolve? What it, you know? It'll be some iron drive okay, or okay, antimatter sorry, or something I asked, cool. Saying, anyway, yeah. Something big So that cool. was, what was that? Bicarbonate of soda. Okay. This is cream of tartar, uh -huh. which is uh, a residue uh, made from grapes. I see. In, uh, it may be in grape juice making, for example. I see. <laughs> so right, now, so John, you mix them. Uh huh. You know, I was going on and on there about what? About two part fuel systems. Nothing happens, right? So you've got. Well, we add a solvent. Uh huh. And the Which tartaric the acid mixes with oh, a bicarbonate yeah. of soda, and look! Tartaric acid. Dramatic bubbles. Look at that. You just can't get. <laughs> wow, Bill! People, no, I've never people, seen anything yeah. like it. Yeah, people yeah. say you can't get good acid anymore, but look, there it comes Bill. That's right. <laughs> all right. That's right, John. Now, what are you going to... All right, so now you're going to so put John, some in here. So, John, this is baking powder, which you okay. see is a commercial product that has those two things already mixed. All we put right. a little baking powder in this in the two. ordinary film canister, John. Okay, let's blow it up. we got to move And this is some uh, warm water. Okay. We add the warm water. We oh, put the put lid on the film oh, canister. we screwed it up in there. Okay, we put the lid on. We turn it upside down. And... Wow! something bigger. Do you, have, do you have something bigger? Yes, we do, John. Yes, Let's do we it. do. Let's do it. Oh! We've blocked off the street out yes, here. Yes, we have Thomas Street, which runs yeah. you know, south of the, uh, of the NBC. All right, well, we got, like, the Washington. entire canister thing over yeah, here. Yeah, what we've got here, John, is the five-gallon paint oh, container. Oh, yeah. Now, this is yeah. great. Very much like the film canister. It's a plastic cylinder with okay, a little much Okay, let's start bigger. dumping it in. Can I help you? Baking powder. Baking All powder. Right, here goes one, two. There's the baking powder. Three. Now, John, what we got to do... Whoa. We, and we can't just mix the water, John, because we'd have... We can't no. get the lid on. Couldn't so get the lid on more quick, like fast the, enough. These cups that look like We're they putting, came from a kager. Yeah, these are they kager did, John. Cups. I know that you'd recognize those yes, instantly yes. with all your. Uh, it brings you back were, a lot uh, of you memories. You went to the UW, didn't you? Yeah. I certainly did. For six yeah. years, I think. Yeah. So we uh, we put this on. Okay. Man, we put the lid on. You want to? The lid's got to be. The lid's got to be okay. on solidly. Okay. Here he goes. He's pounding so down the lid. Put the lid on solidly. Gently, carefully. Now you see the dust coming out. There's a little trick there, John. We've lubricated the O-ring with, dare I say it, a dilatant material. And kids, don't try this at home, right? Really don't try this really at home. Really don't try this really at home. Really don't try this at home. But it's here, Bill you know, with the limitless resources that we have at the NBC affiliate. That's right. You just, we're, That's, you know, money and paint down, buckets are no, this exciting. is my own hammer. This is not a kind, I'll right, take this home. Get that thing hammered There, down. hear that? Oh, that there. sounds good, doesn't it? Boy. So, John, two-part fuel there's system. There's a guy, like, over there, like, they think, there's a guy, like, it's like a steel drum band. We're, like, we're outside of Nordstrom. We're, like, dealing with, let's get the reggae going. Okay, one. John, this is key. All we right. can't mess with this. We this is, right, this is a safety, really well. safety of flight issue right here. Okay. Safety we of flight. It? This has got to be a think so. we got to okay. have this. Oh, yes. Now, All John. Right. This, let's take this it up here. we got to go. This, this is, is rocket really, fuel. We're going to put it on the launch pad. A bucket. Are you ready, John? Yeah. Let's do it. Three. Here he goes. Two, one. Whoa, shake, shake, shake. Shake, it up. Get shake, ready. shake, shake. Oh, 
Look, it's starting to bulge it out. It is bulging like out. It's just happening right away. Almost. Oh, yes. Let's yes, see what John, John, I wouldn't get that close. You know, okay. I have tremendous well, respect for you as a person. And uh, we're hoping that soon, but we're hoping Well, the tension's for, mounting. The tension is mounting. This is now, like you know, when you throw the M80. Yeah. And then uh, the fuse goes down, and no, who's going to go get it to see? I, uh, John, I, I, I have You're at the 4th of July that. party. I really don't know what you're driving and at. Like, but, John, you know, I really encourage you not to get any closer. Ah! Ah! stories here at King 5. All right. Wow. Just Bill like that, Science John. Guy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see that again. So good to be here. Tonight's Late Report is brought to you by The Money Shack. If you aren't too particular about where the money came from, come to The Money Shack. <laughs> This is The Late Report, sponsored by The Money Shack. Well, the friends of the Oak Harbor Library got 170 authors to send autographed books for their annual auction. Meanwhile, secret plans to counter the move are being made by another group, the enemies of the Oak Harbor <laughs> Library. The Driftwood Sculpture Show is held today at the Country Village in Bothell. Some people travel from as far away as three blocks to see it. <laughs> Rapper Vanilla Ice played the Phoenix in Pioneer Square tonight. Many who saw the concert said they thought they had mistakenly attended the Driftwood Sculpture <laughs> Show instead. <laughs> Denny's restaurants in Kent Federal Way in Tacoma will be among the first in the nation to get a makeover of the chain into 1950s style di diners with jukeboxes, neon, and rotating pie cases. And in keeping with the 1950s motif, the restaurant chain will continue its policy of blatant racism. <laughs> the, National, the National Foundation for Women Business Owners ranks Washington as the 10th best state for women businesses. Way to go, chicks! <laughs> it was announced this week that Seattle's unemployment rate for April was at a 30-year low of 4.4%. Now, wait a minute, that's 4.5%. <laughs> Well, the Macaw Indians harpooned and killed a gray whale this week and ate it. The men seemed happy, but many of the women are convinced the blubber went straight to their thighs. <laughs> and now the spotlight falls on our own Governor Gary Lott. That one's gonna cost us. That one is... That one's gonna cost us, I know. <laughs> Finally, the Safeco Field Clubhouse will have a special locker set aside for Ken Griffey's collection of baseball cleats and athletic shoes and a space for his favorite clubhouse chair. In addition, excavation will soon begin on an adjoining 10-story tower that will house his ego. This has been The Late Report. Stay with us because we're coming right back. season and as a special treat some members of our audience will be getting tickets to select films from the Seattle International Film Festival which runs through June 6th and one lucky audience member will receive an overnight stay at the Sheraton Seattle Hotel so I want to thank 
Bill Nye and oh, Gary Locke you, and Well, thanks for your help there, Whitler. By the way, what are you whittling? This? It's a penis. Oh, nice penis. Yeah. Very nice.